this is the first time I've seen myself without the hat on in weeks, to be fair. And just, just look at it. Just look at it. I was born in the wrong decade. I'd have perfect 80s hair. I mean, look at this. Not far off, is it? I realise this has got nothing to do with Pontypool, but how can the boys possibly respect a man with hair like this? It's almost as impressive as our lead position, but not quite. It's not, it's not time for Careless Whisper. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of TYC and a brand new week. I hope that you're all well, staying safe, stay at home. No matter what everyone's saying about hashtag lockdown over, don't believe it. Stay at home. If you're watching in the future, this is where Boris has come back, so everybody thinks that it's okay to go back outside. It's not. There you go, political rant over, and more importantly, if we're going to win games... The hat is back and I am absolutely buzzing for a new week of TYC. I hope that you are too. Right, so where are we, say? Third in the Kim Ray Premier. Very, very good so far. We are still as well. As usual, the Nathaniel MG Cup, we always have a good run. And we're already into the quarter final, which we unfortunately will not be playing today. In terms of results recently, since we met Barry, not the one person, but an actual team, slash town. We played Carfanon, drew 1-1 with them. Lost 3-0 to Aberystwyth away. They were bottom of the table. I wasn't happy. And then we lost 3-1 to Phil Neville's TNS as well. He, he loved that. He, he rubbed me into it. I mean, you know what he can get like. He's a bit rowdy, as old Phil. But then we did bounce back and beat Cardiff Met Uni 1-0 away from home as well. So, we have two home games today against Bangor City and Connors K. Two teams that we haven't played that often on camera. I want to try and get as many of the kind of teams we haven't played on camera as I can together. As I've said, we are third at the moment, and you can tell we are four points off the lead of Carmarthen. That uh, Airbus have kind of come out of nowhere in our 22, and TNS are beginning to climb the table. As you can tell, they can essentially go th six points clear uh, if they win all of their games. So hopefully that won't happen, because the idea of Phil Neville rubbing it in my face just doesn't... Yeah, I mean, Phil rubbing anything in your face just doesn't really sound good, does it? So I made the mistake of basically loading up the game and getting straight into the game and half the players aren't fit. So I've, I've muffed this up. Okay, already. It's not a good start. I've got Davies in goal at the moment. He's not impressed me, to be fair. He was complaining about a lack of first-team football. Bring him in. Concedes 3-2. and two, So not filling me with lots of confidence. Uh, McCormick is at left-back. Williams Taylor is playing very well at the moment. Just above a 7 on terms of average rating. Uh, it's partnering up with Dylan Rye. Sorry, Darren Wright at the back. And Dylan Reese. He will obviously be a right back. He's only got one assist to his name this season. I was expecting a little bit more, but he's actually played quite well at 6.9, so not too bad. Jeff Lloyd, Tom Screamer in the middle, meaning it picks itself. Uh, Phil Jones on the left, Parting in the middle, and Colwell has returned from injury and is back on the right. Idzi leads the line up front, and he has got a fair amount of goals for us this season. He is now up to a whopping four. Uh, actually, six, in, oh, six overall. Six overall. Their standout player is Welf de Silva, and you can tell why. Uh, for a start, he's got a fantastic name. Second of all, he's just a very good player. He's got 21 and 81 appearances for Bangor. I'm hoping that we'll be able to overturn him today and keep him quiet, but again, defensively, we've not been brilliant recently. Said so, Conditioning is not brilliant, especially up front. Cole, uh, Parton, Jones, and Ashley Idzi all quite tired, as is Dylan Reese, mainly because he's our only right back. That is actually any good. Like I said, I expect to win tonight, though. We've not been brilliant at home recently and I want that to change. The defeat to TNS really kind of made me start thinking that we were on a bit of a slide but then to go off and beat Cardiff Met Uni 1-0 there their gaff in a game we really should have won uh, a little bit more convincingly has given me a little bit more confidence going into this. I say that uh, Welf de Silva has scored after 40 seconds from a set piece which is good because it won a game well sorry won a match well won a game definitely won, won an episode I mean, Perry just whips it in, and De Silva, it's it's a bit lucky, I want to say. I mean, it's great defending, though, because Williams Taylor there is actually literally... It's a bit like me, trying to commentate like this. Like, I've just got my back to you all, because, you know, I just, I just don't need to see what's happening. So that's great from Williams Taylor there. Number one rule of defending is sort of like face forward and keep your eye on the ball. Of course, we had double stream Sunday yesterday, so my throat is a little bit sore today. I'm hoping that everyone is okay with that. Uh, Colwell's on the ball here, and he's hit an absolute rocket there, and it's a decent save by James in goal. Better from Colwell, who's played a little bit better in recent games. I'm hoping that he can kind of keep that form up. I just need... I just need Izzy not to do that. 
We're all over him here. We just can't bloom and score. Parting right at the back post. Go on, whip it in, mate. Right, he does. And, oh, that's a great block there, annoyingly. That's a superb block. Please intercept that. Oh, that's annoying. Parting's delivery is excellent, but that's so irritating. We haven't scored from there. Well, it's been half that we've dominated, but we, we've not got anywhere. I'm not happy. I'm going to get aggressive, actually. It's basically a much better showing. The wings are the problem. The wings, is there's nothing's happening on the wings, so that our wingers are always really poor. I'm going to take Jones off, and we're going to bring on Jack Stewart. And I'm going to move him out to the right, and I'll put Cole in on the inverted winger there, see if that makes a difference. And I'm going to take Parton off because he's really tired, and I'm going to make a bit of a change to our shape. I'm going to bring on Hanbury and stick him up front with Idzi, so we're going to play a little bit more direct and 4-2-4. Four, four. We're going to go for it a bit more. Let's see if maybe if we can just play some play this percentages game now. Get the ball up to Idzi. He's the target man. Get him to knock down headers, and let's hope that Hanbury's pace can just unlock that defence. If he makes runs around there, we should be able to create a little bit more space for the likes of Jeff Lloyd and Tom Screamer to get involved in the play, because I've barely seen them touch the ball yet today. Tactics working a treat. I mean, it's a highlight central here. I just can't stop. You know what? It's just not happening. I'm going to take off Carl Will, because he's just he's just doing my nut in. Uh, I'm going to bring on Lewis Ellis, and we're going back to the 4 2 3 one. It's, it's not working. The other formation wasn't working. So Hanbury's going to go out to the left. Uh, I'm going to get him on attack. Let's get him on attack as well. But, yeah, it's just not happening, is it, at the moment? I'm going to get Ellis as an advanced playmaker. We'll get him on attack as well. And I'm going to get Jeff Lloyd off the ball. Uh, I'll get him as a deep line playmaker, but on support. Get him a bit further forward. It's just not been a good start to the day. It's a game that we've... I want to say we've dominated. We've done all right. But I, I was expecting a little bit more in terms of a, of a bigger performance. I mean, Ellis. I'm, I'm bringing him on here. He's one of our more experienced players. And he's just committing so many stupid mistakes just dossing around on the ball I'm really displeased here I'm really not happy I thought this is a game that we could possibly win and at the moment we're showing we're not even looking like we're gonna get anywhere as Idzi heads it in oh what the hell it's been disallowed for pushing another player are you kidding me 20 minutes to go and I mean that's the first real chance that we've had or the first time we've looked like we're gonna score and I don't really know what more I can do than what we've done already. We've had 20 shots, 8 of them on target. We've had double the amount of shots on target. Just, just, just not scoring. Just not enough firepower. Not enough fire. I say that. We scored a lot of goals this year. We scored the third most amount in the league. It just seems to be the set piece problem as Williams Taylor finally heads it clear. That's because you're facing the right way this time, mate. Well done. And it's just the same goal. It's just the same goal every time. And Wealth to Silva, who I highlighted before the game. Has made us pay. They've just been more clinical. They've just been more clinical. I mean, what's the... I mean, Jeff's going to get himself sent off here. I can sense it already. I mean, what is that? What is that for defending? It literally, like, they're just pinging it. What is going on at the back? Definitely in this second half. Parting's the key to kind of, like, opening up the defence. And, oh, for... God. Right, that is it. Davies is gone. Had enough. Da Davies is gone. I've had enough. I've had enough of him. Just... No, I've had enough. I don't even want to watch it. I'm that angry. I don't even want to watch it. I'm that angry. You're an absolute clown, mate. I've had enough of Davies and his blooming, like, butter wrists. He literally just... He's got the origami wrists. All they do is fold, no matter what happens. I don't know why I gave in to him. Barden's done fine this year. I don't know why I gave in to Davies and thought, well, you know, we have been conceding a few recently. Just nonsense. De Silva's about to get sent off. Couldn't he have gotten sent off earlier? 3-0. Not happy. I'm really not happy. We dropped down to t fourth. And the thing is, you think, oh, fourth, that's pretty good. That's fine. You look at the rest of the league. Landudno and Aberys and Barry, the bottom team's got 14 points. I mean, there's no kind of like breakaway team that's going to definitely get relegated. At least we've got nine days till the next game. And my God, do I need to sort this team out. Tom Screamer still won't sign a contract with me. Thanks, mate. I can't lie to you. Is what I was hoping is that... Phil Neville will get sacked from TNS and I could take over that job and then we could go on and dominate Welsh football and I could get some European experience in my belt. But because Phil's turning it around now, I'm getting a bit... I'm, well, it's not going to happen. Let's face it, it's not going to happen. And this game against Connors K now becomes an absolutely massive game. It's a massive. They're eight, but more importantly, I think they're only about three points behind and we can easily get dragged into a bottom half of the table clash if we're not careful here. I'm scared, actually. For the first time in a while... I'm feeling a little bit scared of what's to come. It's It's been a good start to the season, but at the moment, I'm a bit 
concern we're going to end up in that bottom half, which is really not what we need, and definitely not what I need right now. Back-to-back -back wins, and suddenly it's a completely different ball game. But I just, I was hoping that that would be it. We could get into a little run of form. There was such a good performance against Cardiff Met Uni that to go and kind of throw it away there, and in such bad circumstances, like Williams Taylor for the first goal, not looking the right way. I mean, that's donkey stuff. Sometimes I'm feeling a bit down about stuff like this. I literally just go to the job security page and just have a look at what jobs are available. See if there's anything I could take. I could take the Barry job. Don't really want to take it, to be honest. There's nothing here I'd be able to get. Maybe Burgos? Tranmere? Plymouth? Some decent teams. I'm at reputation 15%. So, it's good. I'm nearly, I'm nearly one star now in terms of reputation. It's exciting, isn't it? Okay, so the only player in any form is Ashley Idzi. That's what I've established in this. I'm very angry, and I'm going to get aggressive with the team before the game as well. This is a game we need to win. They're playing a 4-4-2. We should have, should have the upper hand in the midfield. I'm going to get aggressive. I expect them to see a much better performance today. At least that's got everyone riled up. We tend to bounce back when we've had a bad defeat quite well. I'm hoping that that's the case again today. If it's not, then <clears throat> suddenly we're all in trouble, viewers. We're all in trouble. I just need that fight and that hunger back from the team. We just seem to have kind of lost the ability just to, to win the ball back high up the pitch. And it's very annoying. We've done really well so far this season. Like to, the high press and the turning over has been our biggest forte. At the start of the season, teams could not handle it in this division. And that just seems to have gone out the window. But that's a great ball into Phil Jones, who's literally hit it straight at the keeper. I mean, what a pass from Barden. I'm not going to put it out there, but I mean, you wouldn't get Davies doing that. Davies is a donkey. At least it's a better start. We've had the first highlight for a change, which is nice. That That's not what I needed. I didn't need Ewan McCormick to get injured because I don't have another left back. So, that's good. I know that Lennon can play out there. So, maybe he's the key to moving that out there. And we can always bring Williams Taylor on. But, I mean, you saw Williams Taylor in the last game. I don't know if I could deal with that again. That's that's terrific. That That's good. That's terrific. Well done, Dylan Reese. That, that's, that's what I needed, mate. Thank you for that. Just... <laughs> Oh my god. Look, I even took get stuck in off. I even took it off. And he just went for him. Now what? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm, going to be, I'm almost going to be tactical here, viewers. I'm going to get Jeff Lloyd playing as a ball-winning midfielder. And I'll have him on that side to sort of cope with it. And I'll do the same with Tom Scream. Actually, Jeff Lloyd can play, can play as a deep-line playmaker. And if we have him on defend, then I'm hoping what will happen... I mean, normally it shows you where you're covered, but what will happen is he'll defend this flank. That's what I need right now. Actually, I'll tell you what, I've had an even better idea. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move Parton into the midfield, and I'm going to move Colwell into here, and I'll have him playing as a shadow striker on attack. There you go, because then we can still get the overlap, so we still focus our play through the middle. I like that. Let's see if it works. I mean, Dylan Reese. Like, he's just trying to be Jeff Lloyd, but he's not. And actually, you just... <laughs> Yes! Get it. It's absolutely terrible keeping. It's his seventh goal of the season. Jeff Lloyd with the assist. I'm a tactical genius. Love it from McCormick into Partin. Partin with the pass to Jeff Lloyd. He just spoons one over the top. Great movement by Idzi. And Brot, I mean, he gets his hands to it. You have to save that. That is that is Davis at his best. I love it. Well, not Davis. Davies at his best. Get in, though. That's what we want to see. I don't really want to stop until we get two up and then I might go defensive. Parting whips the ball in. We've not headed it clear. They have now. Are we going to get to that? No, because no one apparently is chasing the ball. Le Lennon moves across. You've got to do better there. Benham on the ball. Just don't... Uh, that's offside. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, we know he's offside there. Thank you. Miles off. And we have made it to half time with the 1-0 lead. Right, now it's time for some more tactical excellence. Again, Patrick, so I'm very happy with your performance. Keep it up. You, on the other hand, sir, disappointed in you for getting sent off. And he looks delighted. Oh, yeah, great, thanks. No. It may surprise you to know that Colwell has been terrible. So I'm taking him off. Zach Mayer is coming on. Two ball-winning midfielders, one on defend, one on support. Jeff Lloyd sat in the middle as a deep-line playmaker. It's a diamond, but without the second man up front. And more importantly, very defensive. And come and break us down, is what I'm saying. Come at me and try and break us down now on this very defensive set. This could be the most boring second half you've ever seen, potentially. Or they might go off and score two, in which case I'm an idiot. Oh, good. It's a set piece. Dawson whips it in. Oh, my God, we've cleared it. 
I've, I completely forgot one of the most fundamental parts. Stop the fullbacks from being on attack. There you go. Now literally everyone is defending. Everybody is defending. I mean, it'd be great if you could not score, guys. That'd be great, please, because I want to look like a tactical genius. Is that okay? Hazel. Uh, Owens. I mean, they're getting the overlaps on now, which is a bit concerning. Hazel. I mean, to Ben, that that's not great. And oh, yeah, well, you know that that's fine. I've often seen that in the uh, in the Welsh divisions. To be fair, it's it's well known that they can score absolute rocket volleys. I mean, come on. I mean, it's a good ball. And Hazel to Ben. It's not great defending there. But I mean, what's this? Ultimately, a point probably isn't the worst result in the world, but you can tell it only leaves us four four points off the drop. And even Aberystwyth, if they win both their games in hand over us, like they can actually go level on points with us, and our goal difference is pretty poor. Uh, we could also just lose this because I'm guaranteeing that this is a rocket. Well, you know, you know, often I eat. <laughs> ah! <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. So from one nil up. To two on down, even though I went very defensive. Hazel, Shields. Love worldies. Every every week. Every week. I'll say unlucky boys, but you. Oh fuck, he switched off. Well, I'm gonna get angry. He just... It'd be great if I could just have a game where I could keep ten players on the pitch. We are in serious trouble now. We're in serious trouble going down. McCormick's out for three to nine days. That's not good. I'm going to find him two weeks because I'm fed up of it. I'm fed up of it. He'll probably get annoyed by that. Oh, he's accepted this fine. Well, that's good because that's only £10 that I've saved. I hate to say it, but we're going to have to come back for Barry and Landudno again. I know we played them already, but it only makes sense to come back for that because that's where the league split happens. And we've got some hard fixes between now and then. We've got Barla, Airbus, Twice, Kamal, then Barry and Ludno. I'd be happy to finish in the bottom half of the table in the respect that I think we can beat the teams that are in and around us at the bottom. But, I mean, this is so bad at the moment. It's so poor and it needs work. Like, oh, God, I can't believe it. That is absolutely gutting today. That game, we could have won it. We could have won it. I took Get Stuck In off as well right at the start. And he just literally, just for whatever reason, just decided, ah, just hack him down. It fuming, absolutely fuming. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope that somehow you've managed to enjoy it. Of course, if you have, then please do drop a like on the video. And while you're down there, why not drop a comment in the comment section, ironically. And let me know if you think we're going to stay up. Is there anywhere I'm going wrong? Could I have done anything better? Not in my mind, but I'm sure people will probably say that I could. Just let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, share and subscribe. And of course, until I see you in the next episode of TYC, where we'll have the league split. Stay cool. God, I'm in trouble. I need to leave. I need to leave.